Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a really cheap way to get a clear on level 99 of Clash of Wills. We're not going to use the modifiers. So this is for those of you that don't have good units, don't have good gear, and you're not able to like just kill the boss in one turn or whatever. We're going to be going with a slower, cheaper clear. So we're going to be using the free units, Kelger and Dark Lineage Reagan for our damage dealers. Uh, we're going to use Secure for field removal, we're going to use Maeve for tanking, Paladin Sylvie for buffing, and Kaito for breaking. So my team is EX3, but you don't need EX3, EX2, etc. Um, the only ones that need to be EX3 are the damage dealers, and they're both completely free, and they should be EX3 from their events. So let's get in here and give it a go. I'll show you the gear and all, but the gear is super cheap as well. We're not using like a bunch of Clash of Wills gear. We're not using things like Titus STMR. We're not even using Neovision's gear at all. We're using all stuff from five stars. Okay, so for turn one, Maeve will start in the shift form. Then we'll do cover, provoke, and status immunity. Uh, we're gonna have, Kel not yet. We're gonna have Sylvie in the base form do burgeoning defense, elemental vines, and paladin's offense for the accuracy buff. Um, Kaito, in the shift form, can do deep destabilizing and crashing waves. And Secura, on this turn, will do thunderstone, will do the elemental amp on Kelgar. Now, if you don't have EX2, you can't use the amp. That's okay, you do a little bit less damage. Uh, we're going to use Sylvie's later anyway. And then we're going to do Burst to Imperil. Now on turn one, Kelger will do Lupine Howl for the modifier buff and the double Absolute Mirror of Equity. Reagan will do I'll Never, I'll Sever Fate and then a double Absolute Mirror of Equity. And we'll chain it up, but this turn is not really a damage turn. The, the damage is really going to be coming from the, um, the LBs starting next turn. Okay. So, some attacks on Maeve. With Sylvie's mitigation, it's fine. Alright, so we're going to use Secure to remove that field. Uh, now, Maeve, our, our morale is too low to do her good killer. Same thing with Kaito. The morale is too low to do his good killers. So, we're going to go to the base form with Kaito. And we'll do Swelling, Receding, and whatever. That'll give us a smaller killer. Sylvie will go to the Shift form. And we'll do we'll do clever for the sword in peril. We'll do demon killer on Kelger, and we'll do I've got your back on Kelger for a bigger buff as well as a morale gain. Um, Mave can just do uh, hunting call. We'll do Mave in a minute. Let's do the LB of both Kelger and Reagan. They are absolute mirror of equity, so they chain together. It's pretty nice. Okay, now Maeve can do, um, let's do Hunting Call. We can do Wild Barrier, and we can do, I don't know, Limitless Frenzy. Who cares? Okay, so this turn, the boss is going to put the accuracy down, but because we're, we're double-handing both Reagan and Kelger, and we're using Sylvie's accuracy buff, we will still hit the boss anyway. So at this point, the morale is high enough to use, um, we still can't use Maeve's killer, which kind of sucks, but we can now use Kaito's killer, his better demon and machine killer. So, that's so all the auto casting finishes. Okay, so Kaito will go to the shift form. Now we can do torrential downpour for the killers, and we'll do just deep and destabilizing. Um, let's see here. So we'll do the SLB of these two, but not yet. Let's have Sylvie, before we do that, let's have her do Leaping Love for the modifier buff. And we can go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and chain this up. Deal some damage. So we'll push the boss into phase two at this point. So the boss is going to start healing. So we're going to shift Secura. And we will do in the shift form... Let's do Thunderstone, uh, True or Two Sages Fortification, and then a Burst. That'll refill some LB gauge. And Maeve can just triple. We'll just triple Gifted Swing to actually, no, we'll do Gifted Swing twice and a Hunting Call. That'll fill some more LB gauge so we can do more, you know, more Limit Burst. Okay. 
So the boss begins to heal. Not too bad. The biggest damage is going to be on turn 6 for us. Now the boss put the field back up and did these buffs. So for the field, we'll use Secura to wait for the Esper fill. We'll get rid of that field again. We'll have Kaito. Now Kaito's normal attack in the shift form is a perfect dispel. So Kaito will just normal attack in the shift form. And that'll get rid of the boss's buffs without removing the debuffs. Um, this turn... Uh, our morale is still too low for Maeve's killer, which kind of sucks. So we'll just have, hmm, let's actually have Sylvie in the shift form. Let's do the lightning ramping amplify so that on turn six, when we get the SLB again, we have 100% amp. So we'll, S we'll lightning amplify. Let's refresh the sword in peril. And let's do a defense for the... Um, the Mirage for the party. Now this turn, the boss is going to do some sort of hard-hitting attacks, but Maeve should be okay. So we're going to have Maeve do Hunting Call. Let's do a Gifted Swing. And I guess we can do... Practice Lore? I don't know. And then we're not going to use the LB of Kelgrin them yet, because we want to do it next turn. We have the bigger Amplify. We're not going to be able to refill it um, otherwise, so let's go ahead and deal some damage here and the boss will heal again. Not that big a deal Okay And some healing Okay, maybe we should have guarded me but we are using really cheap gear But she has ex3 for me. So if you if your tank is dying on turn four just guard them instead Anyway, um, morale is still too low for Maeve's killer. It feels real bad. Uh, but let's go ahead and refresh the killer of Kaito and then just break and break. Um, Secura on this turn, honestly, not a whole lot going on. So we can just like use her LB buff, um, her shifted LB. Let's see, Sylvie on this turn. Um, we can do Leaping Love as well. Uh, Maeve can... Morale fill, cover, and that. Let's go ahead and do the LBs of these two again. And then next turn we get their SOB and the boss should be dead. At this point we have an, we have an 80% amplify. Next turn we have a 100% amplify. So, you know, we're going to win. Okay, so keep in mind we did the accuracy buff on turn one for Sylvie. So we need to refresh it before dealing our damage here. Or we could use the accuracy buff from the morale bar if we really wanted to. But uh, let's have Sylvie go ahead and triple. We're going to do offense for the accuracy. Let's do a demon killer on Kelger. And we'll do clever for the sword in peril. We can finally do Maeve's beast killer for the very last turn. Because morale is pretty bad this clear. We'll do hunting call and gifted swing. Um, Kaito can just do crashing waves. Torrential Downpour, and Deep Submersion. Let's see. It doesn't really, won't really need anything from you. So we can do the SLB of these two, and at this point, we have now won. So go ahead and do that. And there it is. So there's our cheap clear. I'll show you the gear and all in a second. Um, but, you know, either free or super old units. You know, Kaito is two years old. Sylvie is a year and a half old. Maeve is a year and a half old. Secure was like three years old. So yeah, really, really old units. And then Kelger and Reagan, totally free. So there it is. Here's the breakdown. Looking good. And I'll show you the gear. The gear was very, very cheap as well. We're not using like, you know, Neo Visions gear. We're not using Clash of Wills gear, except for one. We are using one ring, but I'll show it to you. So we are using a decent amount of five-star STMRs because those can be UOC'd. So Kaito is dual wielding Sylvie's card that gives us um, morale and you can you can get these from the card token shop. Other than that, just like kind of whatever gear, mana reduction. He is our provoker with, with um, evasion, although Maeve is provoking as well, so there it is. And we are using some Esperfil stuff. Um, Sylvie is using the Celestite Rod. Other than that, just, you know, whatever, just stuff, same thing, you know. Um, morale fill her card, etc. Uh, Maeve in the shift form is evasion as well as magical cover, a little bit of bulk, 
Um, with, with, with the gear I'm using, very cheap gear. Uh, we don't have much bulk, but whoops. I mean, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Um, there it is. You know, some just cheapy, cheapy trust masteries. And there we go, etc. Uh, and then Secura, just some Esperfill, mana reduction. Um, you know, dual wielding, uh, Esperfill, you know, an another Sylvie card. You can get these Sylvie cards from the, uh, the exchange shop. Um, Kelger is again using either free or cheap gear. The long sword is an event weapon. The helm and the chest piece are event items. His own cape. Um, we are using the only Clash of Wills gear we're using is a single copy of the ring. Uh, a bunch of five star materials. You know you can get these from unit of choice. And then a card. You can get this card from the token shop, the card shop, etc. Same thing with Reagan using a free sword, some free gear. <coughs> um, Yuna's, ne <coughs> Yuna's necklace was free from the Final Fantasy X Vision World. I know it's a Neo Visions premium STMR, but it was given free to all players, so I'm using it. Uh, and then here we go. So, you know, five star materials and then a card you can get from the card shop. Okay, so super, super cheap, budget run, budget run clear. Um, got it done, no modifiers. So that's for those of you that want to clear level 99 for the uh, all the rewards and don't really, not really worried about ranking. Anyway, hope it helps. See you in a bit.